Like leaf for Prince Helsef, this scandal blew over when no one could be found to testify. Is it just a coincidence that Anhar's health went into a steep decline just as he was to restify before the imperial magistrates? He died a natural death, according to the imperial coroners. Convenient and timely, perhaps, but natural. Martyrius Aruntius was a city elderman of Weirest. Prince Helsef Laysen, with the elderman's married daughter, was potentially embarrassing, embarrassing to the prince, especially when Martyrius Aruntius forcefully pressed his suit for predatory adultery in various courts. Many thought it's strange. What? Many thought it strange that Martinius Aruntius should suddenly fall ill and die of exhaustion on the eve of the trial. That the suit was settled out of court and charges dismissed. The imperial coroners ruled that Martyrius Aruntius had died in a natural death. Okay. Convenient and timely, admittedly, but natural. Chuso Esil was a diplomatic attaché at the High Rock Embassy in Verest. Widely rumored to be an intelligence officer, Chuso Esil was often seen at court, taking a great interest in the affairs of Queen Berenzaya and her family. It is said that Verest can be a beastly, uncomfortable place in high summer. Perhaps the Breton's constitution was ill-suited to the relentless, to the relentless heat and pestilential swarms of the southern Iliac. Jusol Estiel took suddenly ill one evening, and within three days he was dead. Once again, imperial coroners ruled that Jusol Estiel had died a natural death. Convenient and timely, yes, but natural. In this common tongue, notes significantly are the only A's on the list. Some have quietly suggested that, that Prince Helsef was the most accomplished and subtle prisoner in the West, but the common tongue has never seen a single scrap of evidence that will prove such an indictment. Admittedly, uh, the absence of such proof would count as qualifying towards the title of a most accomplished and subtle prisoner. Okay. And further, the common tongue does not wish to suggest that King Helsef is a prisoner, or that the recent death of King Efin Letan was a uh, poisoning, and not a natural death. The common tongue has never seen a single scrap of evidence that would prove such an indictment. And the Imperial coroners have ruled that if in Latin died a natural death. <laughs> okay. Politics. So what do you have? Okay, you have so only crap. I'll thank you to be brief, sir. Does she sell reagents? Potions. Mainly. Okay, water walking. Cure poison. Cheap restore. I need something better than that. Okay. Justice never sleeps. Shop. What do you have? Spells. I don't care about spells. Yes. What about the rest? Hmm. What do you have? Okay, you have more potions. 
Okay, I like that. Levitation. Healing potions. Do you have standard or uh, you have high quality maybe? Yes. some good stuff so what I need for my guy Kiras yes maybe leggings hmm adamantium right bracer maybe that too but later okay do you have how are you today you don't have anything good all right what do you need You need greaves, you need keras, you need shoulder, shoulder pads and maybe a weapon. Let's see. That. That, that. How about a discount? A hard judge, but fair. I'm going to sell. Come on, give me something. Mm -hmm. Uses 20, uses 10. I, c I could buy one, I guess. Nah. It's not worth it, I think. Maybe when it snows in my stove. Bookseller. Trader. Hello there. I suppose you have come to trade and that's fine with me. Azura knows there is little else in the world worth doing. None of the rest of it matters. Adventuring, fame, woman, it's all pointless. Are we friends, Philandro? No, we are not. Alright, let's persuade. Maybe he will tell me more. Come on, ten, 10 bucks is always good. Really? <laughs> I'm not going to give you... Alright, take... You bastard. Why are you so expensive? Oh, really? Wow. Bah, woman. There is no happiness to be found. No lasting happiness. Anyway, it's all sham. Oh, I didn't always think so. I had a wife once and was madly in love with her. But then my foolishness took her away. And now here I am, 
bitter alone and tired of life. I will have a little else to do with women for sure. That's what it was, alright. The folly of youth. The dreams, aspirations. I foolishly followed them and took my wife to Wardenfell for what was supposed to be a great adventure. I paid for my foolishness, paid in full. Unfortunately, my wife was made to pay as well. She coughed the blight this shortly after arriving, and her frail constitution couldn't handle it. I lost her to the damn disease, and it ruined me. No one could replace her. None of the women I have ever known could ever replace her. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. What do we trade anyways? Okay, you got some ranged stuff. Nothing special though. Just as never sleeps. Anything else here? No. Mournhold. Phone broker. Ten tongues. Welcome, Woodolf. Welcome. The best deals in all Mornhold can be found here. Low prices every day and special offers as well. Please take your time and look through my wares. Nothing special here, not for the likes of you anyway. Just what you see. Come on. Every now and then I'll have special bargain on certain items. Just for valued customers like yourself, of course. Check back with me on a regular basis and you'll see if I can make you a deal. Okay. This is your lucky day, friend. I've got a new scroll of Ilnia's breath right here. Want it? How much? What do you mean? I like you and I'm just trying to make you a good offer. How much? I didn't see the price, but maybe later. <laughs> Go here? No. I need a better weapon for him. Founder of the Mournhold players. I'm sure you came here to watch our production of the the horror, the horror of the Castle Xir. Well, I'm very sorry to inform you that we don't be putting on the show today. The troupe has its own drama to worry about at the moment. As well, wouldn't you know that the very day we are supposed to debut our show, our lead actor Tarvus Belef comes down with levels. You can find anyone to take over his part. I will do it, but my expertise is desperately needed backstage. So now I have just got to stand up here and try to drive people away from our heavily promoted production. I just wish we could find someone who looks like Tarvus. Hmm. Wait just a minute here, Wood Elf. You know, you ki you you kind of look li a little like Tarvus. I think it this might work. What do you say, Wood Elf? Would you like to take part of the? Would you like to take on the part of Clavidus, captain of the Imperial Guard, in our production? 
you sure if you pay it well fantastic here take a copy of the script as you can see people are already starting to gather so we need to get this show started i'm sure you know the aura of castox here quite well don't you of course you do so there is no need for a lengthy rehearsal review the script for the next two minutes then talk to me again make sure you come back within two minutes as our play requires exact timing to pull off correctly hmm. well i remember this uh, book actually so relax start right to you'll be away, fine good job you're right on time let's get this show on the road all you have to do is head out there through the door and hit your mark in the center of the rock next to Gurri. Stand still and deliver your lines. Okay. Move quickly through the door, timing is everything. And be careful, the audience knows the play well. And I'll be counting your mistakes. Break and back. <laughs> Evening to you, Sir Joe. Um, good evening. Is your master at home? No, Sir Joe. It's only me here. My master, Sadura Kenna Talvani Hordolf Seer, is at his winter estate. Is there something I can do for you? Um, possibly. Would you mind if I came in? Not at all, Sir Joe. Please, may I offer you some flint? Uh, no, thank you. What's your name? Anara, Sir Joe. Anara, where did your master leave Scalf and Moot? More than a fortnight ago. That's why it's only me in the castle, Sir Joe. All the other servants and slaves who tend to his lordship travel with him. Is there something wrong? Um, do you know an Ashlander named Suka Karifa? No, Sir Joe, I know no one by that name. Uh, he's dead. He's lost, he lost the castle and his seal. Vec? That's strange. I suppose it's possible that my master knew this man, but being an Ashlander and my master being of the house of Telvani, well, if you'll pardon me for being flippant, Sir Joe, I don't think they would be friends. Could I, could I look in your master's library? Please, Sir Joe, go wherever you want. We have nothing to hide. We are loyal imperial subjects. Yes, I hear our old Telvani. Joe Enma. Come on, fight! Oh, that hurts. <laughs> Let's let me do this. I think I, I can do this. Could it get any worse? Good evening to you, Sir Joe. Uh, no, Sir Joe, it's only me here. My master, Sadura Kenna Talvani Hordolf Seer, is at his winter estate. Is there something I can do for you? Not at all, Sir Joe. Please, may I offer you some flint? Anara, Sir Joe. Um. More than a fortnight ago. That's why it's only me in the castle, Sir Joe. All the other servants and slaves who tend to his lordship travel with him. Is there something wrong? No, Sir Joe, I know no one by that name. 
back.